report that came out that Lomachenko apparently had a, an injured shoulder. Now, some people are saying that that means Lomachenko himself made an excuse, which I have not seen from Lomachenko directly, so we're gonna get right to that. Now, Bucho, you weren't here. I'll take it away. Well, I don't understand these people who uh, who claim that. Listen, I haven't seen channels that are making excuses for Lomachenko. Maybe there's a few comments from some psychos that's understandable to a lot of psychos. But there hasn't been really major channels, major boxing channels that have been coming up with excuses for Lomachenko. It's a challenge. It is absolutely a challenge. And, you know, one thing is to say that Lomachenko, who he himself didn't even come up with the shoulder thing, he hasn't mentioned it yet. And now he has to mention it because if he doesn't, he comes across as a liar. And then people, the people that already hate Lomachenko, they're going to hate him no matter what. So if he doesn't address the thing, they're going to say, oh, he's not addressing the thing. He's a liar. Or his whole camp is a liar. So that's one of the things that we got to keep in mind here. There's a lot of hate for Lomachenko. Now, Point is that there's well, no the predictions as well like seriously like people are acting as if Lomachenko got destroyed like like Deontay Wilder or something like like he got exposed uh, what do you mean he got exposed like he almost uh, he almost stopped uh Teofimo so basically my prediction was almost correct because I said Lomachenko was gonna stop the guy now he couldn't stop him and I'm not saying that he was a better boxer than Teofimo Teofimo actually he surprised me I knew he was bigger but I thought that Lomachenko's skills were gonna be able to uh, overcome that uh, size handicap Teofimo. So basically, my prediction was almost correct because I said Lomachenko was going to stop the guy. Now he couldn't stop him, and I'm not saying that he was a better boxer than Teofimo. Teofimo actually he surprised me. I knew he was bigger, but I thought that Lomachenko's skills were going to be able to uh, overcome that uh, size handicap, right? But it didn't happen, and, and, and Teofimo was actually better than I expected. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then to, to say that Loma got exposed also that's pretty pathetic. That's taking like, away you guys don't credit from about Lopez. If you're saying that, yeah, that's taking away credit from Lopez, who showed. showed us that he's got both. Look, did the size advantage have something to do with it? Yeah, but I thought Lomachenko was going to be good enough to overcome that. But uh, Lopez showed that not only did he have the strength and the speed and the power, he also had the balls. And that is something, my friends, that you cannot buy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I What 
boxing is all about. Some guys are slow, some guys are fast, some guys hit hard, some guys don't. But those advantages, how, depending on how you combine them too, they, they work, you know? And so when if you want to bring the size, fine. It, it, it is a factor. Um, David, thank you for your... Power, it was... When it came down to it, he was getting tired and he showed balls after that fight. I mean, the 12th round, so... Yeah, it wasn't mm -hmm. just, you know, you can bring up the size and all that, but it wasn't just size itself because Lomachenko's beaten oh. other uh, big fighters as well. Okay, maybe not as muscular as Lopez, but uh, like I said, that counter-punching, that skill, and the, those balls that you cannot buy. I've tried, believe me. All right, listen, Rap Star, thank you for... <laughs> Me saying, or anybody saying, I think this is why Lomachenko lost. Saying, like, I think Teofimo did the right thing. I thought he fought big because he's the bigger guy. That's not to say that's why he won. Because there's, there's little guys who beat the shit out of big guys. If you pay attention uh, enough, there's a lot of evidence of that, right? So I thought that me coming up with, with, with why I think he won, one of the reasons why I think he won, is not making excuses. The same thing with, look, Everybody knows we clown wild. No, but the nobody mentioned here that the uh, the shoulder injury was an excuse. So I, I'm sure you were talking about overall, right? D? Yeah, yeah overall. I challenge it does absolutely so Lomachenko's in a bit of a lose-lose situation here but again injuries and all that that's what that's what every fighter who loses says or his management especially the management right Bucho because they got a uh, an investment yeah. to protect. And they got to come up with all sorts of excuses. So, and by the way, Lomachenko did have an excuse prior to this, so it's not necessarily like it's that out of the realm of possibility that he came in here injured, but Lopez might have been injured too. Apparently, his manager said that he also had a couple of injuries. Look, whenever you step into the ring, you, you're you always going to have a fighter not be at 100%. At best, they might be 98, 97 as you can out of everybody or anything you know camps and all that so did he know about the injury maybe but uh, look uh, he did what he had to in the ring so that's why I'm giving him credit for
that judge would have made the fucking difference if, if we would have a closer fight. If you didn't have a, a, close, a close fight, if it would have been a closer fight in your eyes, then that judge, Letterman, she would have made a difference. She would have, Teofimo was going to win no matter what. That's, okay, so that's, a difference, too, so that's the point. That's the point I was trying to make. I don't think you guys are understanding because. No, I do, I do. But look, to D Jefferson's point that how is uh, Lomachenko the A side, uh, the B side when he was when he was scheduled to make more money? And look, I think a lot of times people look at the money aspect, and that's the the, the tell all of a a guy who's getting the benefit of the doubt in the scorecards. Look, I'll give you an example: when Cotto fought Canelo Alvarez. Like, you can see that there was some bullshit. I mean, it's it's not making excuses when someone says, "Look, I believe Tio Fimo was the guy that they wanted to win." There's a lot of upside. Bo what? Boxy's not corrupt. Oh, now because because Tio beat Loma, now Boxy's straight down the middle. They Yeah, you know, um, I rewatched the fight carefully and it was a lot closer than initially I was just I had a problem with that one scorecard. We all know which one. But after watching the fight, I got a problem with all the scorecards. They so from to me, the fight that I saw, I got no problem with Telfimo getting it seven five. I think that's just. But if somebody had that fight seven five or, or a draw, look, if anybody wanted it was Telfimo. But if somebody had it a draw or headed for Loma 7-5, it really, you couldn't really call it a robbery either. But um, the, the thing I keep hearing is that Loma left. You couldn't really call it a robbery either. But um, the, the thing I keep hearing is that Loma left it too late. Guys, Loma could have won 10 rounds in that fight, clearly, and he would not have gotten a decision. So the way it worked out that he didn't win enough rounds for us to be able to claim robbery, okay, that's cool. But I mean, they were, they were fixing to rob this kid anyway. So uh, in my eyes, yeah, he, did, he got job. He absolutely did get job. Short of knocking Teofimo out. And in retrospect, it seems like he knew that. Maybe that's why he saved himself early and didn't really care to win those early rounds because he understood he wasn't going to get a decision anyway. He watched Cavalier of Andre Ward. He saw Triple G uh, Canelo. So he knew, he knew what time it was, even if some of us were in denial about that. A lot of people in the chat right now, they called it too. They said he was going to get robbed. Now, again, you can't necessarily claim 
that he did get robbed because he, you know, fight could have gone either way, in my opinion. But even if he won 10 rounds in that fight, he still would not have gotten a decision. I, th I think they did Loma dirty. They set him up. Um, that has nothing to do with Teofimo and what he did in the ring. But that still doesn't make them the A side because it was a, it was an in-house fight, and they were basically uh, using Lomachenko to build Teofimo. They've, they've been putting Teofimo and Lomachenko's undercards. They've been promoting him as the takeover, and and it was clear listening to Timothy Bradley calling shots that never landed. It was clear listening to the commentating team. Uh, it was clear seeing those scorecards. It was clear looking at the compu box versus what actually happened in the ring. It was clear that they wanted Lomachenko to lose. And my point still holds true. It, like, for example, BDA, you had it 7-5, and that's cool. Let's just agree that that's what that was. Uh, even even if Lomachenko won three or four more rounds, Lomachenko could have knocked him down twice with seven in 7-5 seven, winning. He, he could have won five rounds, knocked him down two times, and he still wouldn't have won the fight. So... <laughs> I still, I still stay here with a smile. Go ahead, Precise. You were going to say something. Look, if if Lomachenko understood, and to me it looked like he did understand that he cannot win on the cards, that changes his entire game plan. He could, he, he, his, his number of choices is all of a sudden limited. He can't just go in there and box the guy because he's not going to get the decision. He has to change his entire game plan. He has to take tremendous risks trying to knock him out, and only in in the last few uh, rounds of the fight. That's that's not an even that's not a level playing field. Like it's just he got. Of course, the it was a robbery. Of course, it was. We could sit here and like rationalize. Well, technically, he didn't win, and so so it wasn't a robbery. Man, they were gonna they were gonna rob him no matter what. So even though, it, given all the circumstances, I don't think it's unfair to say that he only won five rounds. Cool. Not, I don't got a problem with that. A lot of those body shots were low blows. And, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, BDA. I'll
Thank you.